Welcome back to Crypto's Juiciest News, baby dolls. We have a Bitcoin price that has come down to hit $60,000. That is a medican, of course. Everyone is looking at a bleedy McBleed zone right now. Or is it really? I mean, if you look at the levels, friends, it's around this pokey McPoke zone. If you remember, when we were around here, I was posting this fractal from BCB, Blockchain Backer, friends, and it had this double test reset which is actually the post right now that I'm showing you, friends. I put this out yesterday. And look at this. We've actually just seen this part up here. This was yesterday. So look, we have had this poke down here. It's done the exact same move that, yay, it's, it's look at this. It's, it is exactly in line. I mean, why does this happen, friends? I don't know. It's just markets and spooky. Does that mean we're like, oh, no, things are bad and we can start moving up? I hope so. We are watching... Price action happening in real time. Everyone's bored. It's all slow. You know, Soilana and Coinbase coins are rinsing. But I mean, like you had racist coins, Soilana friends. I'm going to play some nice habibi, 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 racist habibi, coins. Habibi, you habibi, sold my core habibi, coins habibi, to go buy with racist coin narrative people. Oh, uh, baby dolls. I mean, when are you going to learn? I just, we had fun. It was, it was so fun covering it. I was like, what the hell is going on? But now you know, friends, things don't just, they don't just top out in two seconds. It's a while. It gives you a, gives you time to distribute pretty much, all right? This is the total crypto market cap. It's going down. Why? Mostly Bitcoin's going down. These are red weekly candles as well, but you're seeing a lot of Bitcoin like that. See, we have a date with the devil, friends. The date with the devil is right here. And this date might be with this 21 EMA. I mean, we always come back to this 21 EMA, but it's moving up closer and closer. I think if you really want to just analyze what's going on, I mean, you can have a look at the uh, the Bitcoin dominance chart as well, which can just be inverted as well. You can have a look at the altcoin dominance too. Look at this. We had a reset, friends. This has been a very, very lackluster old season. Now, here's the thing. This is the 2020 DeFi one. But look, man, we could have had it, friends. That's the thing. We could have had it. We could. That could have been it. And what, what does it mean? I don't know. It could just been. Look, I don't like to say it, but it's possible that was the last alt season before the end game begins now in terms of, okay, this thing goes down as Bitcoin breaks the high and then eventually catches up. We don't know. It could also be continuing. So this this part, friends, here was the final. This is Bitcoin making its way to new all-time highs, breaking. And then this part is that big final alt season. You have Dogecoin mania up here. So I even have it marked up here. We've pushed back the US Fed rates, cut rates, right, back then, just to see if we can time something. I guess we'll find out later. So as you know, right, Ethereum and Bitcoin, friends, they move line in line pretty much. When, friends, when you see the ETH BTC ratio, it's still 0 0.049. When you see that, just know that, okay, it just means, okay, nothing's been moving out of the ordinary for Ethereum. It's still in this poopy zone. Remember, Ethereum is still bleeding, friends. Ethereum is still bleeding hard. You would have thought by now when Bitcoin halvening things at least start to show some life, but... So I have to ask, man, maybe it's a slingshot loading itself. There's also deep blood in chain link, pain link land. It, this, this chart needs to start rotating up. Okay, it's going to take some time. But as well, friends, look, this is the thing. Every single chart looks like that, what I just showed you. Every single chart. I mean, even the darling chart. So that, that's chain link chart. But what I'm going to do now is show you the things that were cycle one narratives, which we went through in AI. This is bit tensor tau. Look at this, friends. It's not going anywhere since uh, November of last year. So everybody's still banking on this to continue. I mean, even if you have friends, Matic was a darling. It was literally a darling. Look at his price chart. Getting obliterated as well. Changed to a weekly chart. Down from the top, you're down 75%. But because it made a new high, it's not that bad, 73%. I mean, it's compared to everything else, it's not that bad. But you never know, man. These things, friends, these things take a while for everyone to catch up. What's Matic's narrative now? They keep changing, ZK, EVM, all this other stuff. They've got a lot of Ethereum maxis who are like advisors and stuff on them. So that's pretty much what they have to do, right? That's, there's, but there's too many chains, man. They've, they've diluted the bid. There's so many layer two chains, every other VC scum insider. Like you're seeing all these other uh, all these other chains come out. They're all doing the exact same copy-paste metric. They're trying to give you points so you can earn, so they can take your ETH, give you junk, and for all them to cash out. That's their final plan. And also big news today, very unfortunate news. The corrupt... U.S. government has sentenced CZ to four months. So there's a live photo of CZ right here, four months. See, friends, this is actually, this is, I don't, look, you want to tell me that 
the world is in a simulation. You want to tell me when crypto has been chanting the four meme from CZ. He's holding up four fingers. It's one of the most famous memes in crypto. So to update everybody, friends. So CZ, he made like these key points of like how to make it. And number four, he made this was this was years ago. It's like three years ago. And number so point one, two, three, four, like point you know, one of them was like buy low and hold forever and stuff. Okay, num point number four was like ignore the FUD and like just keep keep building. That was point number four. So CZ has always been holding up four fingers. All right. He's always been holding up four fingers for three years. You're telling me a judge comes to sentence him on order from the corrupt US government, the corrupt SEC, the corrupt Wall Street bug eater insiders, and they were trying to go for three years. And you honestly want to tell me it is a coincidence from this simulation that of all the months and the times, he gets four months exactly. Who are these people who think all of this is just random? Really? You really going to tell me that, friends? We've been making this meme for that many years. They sentenced him to four months. I don't know what world you live in, friends. I'll tell you right now, the world I live in, I'm seeing this stuff happen way too often to be a dice roll, okay? And you're seeing it too. Funny. This is actually even more funny. The corrupt US, the corrupt US government, the corrupt SEC claims that he looked away from transactions that supported, right? This is child abuse, illegal drugs, and terrorism. And I said, yeah, nobody's buying that shit. Here's your clown emoji. Really? Friends, do you know, know how corrupt they are? They, they literally, friends, they find, they can like send you a message and say, help, okay. And like five years later, oh, somebody who was being trafficked as a child messaged you for help and you didn't reply. I guess we got to put you in jail now. You know what I mean? They, they can make up anything, man. They can literally make up anything. They're just like, oh, well, we got we got to take him down. We got to take him down. So what they've done is, friends, if you just just show, you, I can read. Hope, hope you read between the lines. Brian Boldstrong from Coinbase. He is still like a spiky hedgehog. He won't comply yet. The government needs Cuckbase to comply more. Brian Boldstrong is still defi defending against the corrupt SEC. Now, if you map out how the trend is going, so right now you think, yeah, you're on our team. They're going to betray us at the end. Okay? Friends, watch the Star Wars movie. Okay? You, you end up getting betrayed. So at the end... This is how it all ends. And you want to explain why, friends. A lot of people, I know, they always want to know why, why, why. Look, the answer, friends, is the corrupt SEC working for the US Fed, okay, and the names of the groups I can't even mention, all right? They control the USD leg of Bitcoin, okay? You know, Bitcoin, we look, what's the, most, what's the biggest volume in Bitcoin, friends? BTC in crypto. The biggest volume done in crypto is BTC USDT. And also BTC, USDC, okay? So they have to control that. Now, they can't control the Bitcoin part yet. With the Bitcoin spot ETF, they can. They're eventually getting everyone in the ETF, and they're going to do what they did to gold. What do they do with gold, friends? Well, what they end up doing is, this is coming later, they make it very difficult and annoying if you hold gold yourself, for tax reporting, there's more forms you have to fill out, you have to get things verified, like all this annoying stuff. And your gold cannot be used as collateral for trading, investing, home loans. Okay, they don't they don't give you bonuses. However, if you have their paper gold, their ETF gold, it adds to credit, you get better borrowing rates, you can earn money on it, you can lend it out on the platform. Do you see? So they basically make it very inconvenient for the average mum and dad. And remember, friends, the average person, they don't give a shit. They're here to buy freaking Soylana racist coins, make a make a 2x and run off. They don't care about decentralization and stuff. They don't care. You know that, right? So that's 
what's been happening. Okay, so that's the government's plan. They're going to make it really inconvenient. They're going to call you a criminal if you hold Bitcoin on your ledger. We already know that. Self-custody ban. We already know that. I've already, I've warned you about this. I'm not going to be like, hey, bro, how can you stop me not knowing 12 words? Okay? You said my, my, my password is pussy45. No, it's actually pussy54. That guy's password is pussy45. You see what I mean? They can't stop you doing that. They know that, though. But the, friends, they know. They don't care. They know, okay, uh, 90% of people don't even understand crypto anyway. So if we just say that we're going to ban it, it's going to come at the bottoms. People are going to capitulate more. They're going to run out more. They'll bridge out back more. And that's more people they trap back in the original system. It's actually clear cut. Like if you put me, if you put anyone as a dictator in a dark room with the bug eaters, oh, it's, it's just like chess moves, okay? So to continue, remember the US government, they have cuck base. Cuck base doing the most volume, okay? Cuck base, that's why I'm calling them cuck base, friends, because I'm watching Star Wars movies. You know how this story ends, friends. You get betrayed, okay? Anakin, I'm not going to say it, but you, this is how it always happens, friends, okay? These movies always play out like this. There's not, where's the movie where we all hold hands, you know what I mean? And then we eat some hamburgers, eat some jelly beans, and we go back, make a 100x leverage trade, and we all win. There's no movie like that. So when we continue along this path, USDT, the Tether FUD, they could always throw the Tether FUD at us, friends. They could just go if they really wanted. But what I actually think is happening behind the scenes, and I'll play some angel music for this, Okay. Tether is actually complying with them. I reckon they are playing ball a lot. Because if you look through it, friends, Tether is only really annoying for the Chinese government. Have you noticed that? Tether play nice for, for USA people. Okay? But for China, Tether is how they all, everyone does like, you know, free money, liberty, money transfers and stuff in China, getting around a lot of law, a lot of the corrupt barbaric jail cell. I can't even call them laws. I don't know real laws, okay? These types of like rules, policies. So Tether, by the way, I've already reported to you. I reported this to you last year or earlier. Uh, Tether hired, uh, I can't say their words anymore, friends, because I don't want to get flagged, but the Phoebe, right? The Phoebe... You see these? And the Kia. Okay, you see this? The Kia. I can't say these words. If you see it on the screen, you'll see it. The Phoebe and the Kia. Three-letter agency, USA. You get them. You know who they are, right? Now, the Phoebe and the Kia, they actually hired. They hired people into the into tethers. What, what was it? Basically, they walked in. They go, guess what? Um, we can shut down your whole, whole operation in about two seconds. We'll just make up, like, some charges on, like, Polo. We'll go, hey, man, we've got a... AI picture of you, I don't know, uh, touching someone who's under 18. Okay. You know, they can do that, friend. They do that all the time, man. They just frame anybody. And they're like, okay, there goes your $40 billion business. Or all you have to do is just sign this form and let these two people work in the office. There you go. That's all they do. It's very, very simple. There you go. It, friend, this whole mess is just solved in two seconds. So the Phoebe and the Kia are working. They're really important to you. Ages ago, you guys remember that, that article? Now, they do a lot of the volume. The next one is USDC Circle. Obviously, they are bug eater squared. I mean, friends, the guy in Circle, Jeremy, otherwise known as Jezza, like, he actually, he looks like a bug. He actually looks like a bug himself. So, this is not even a debate whether he's a bug eater. He's, he is literally a bug. <laughs> okay, he's got bug eyes. I'm not making this up. You remember these friends. Crypto face told me about it. You just, you can't trust people bug eyes, friends. It is what it is. It's just the rules. Now, now the US government knows. All right. US government, they know, of course, friends, bug eaters. They have the volume of USDC and they have the volume of USDT. And they have cuck base. Where does Binance in this fit in? It doesn't fit in anymore. Binance, friends, were doing the biggest volume by far. Their volumes are going to start to go down. They are starting to go down. And because Binance don't even have US banking. Stuff so they basically just choked them and they just they've set the trend to the other way. So now Binance's tether, uh, with you BTC USDT still does a lot of volume, but guess what? The government's okay weeding them out because the government now went into tether themselves. So that's what they want to do, that's what they are doing, friends. They want to control Bitcoin, but remember, you can't just control the Bitcoin, they want to control the pairing of Bitcoin. That's what they want to control. They want to control the pair of tether and USDC. Once they can control that part. They've got the volume going in, and then it won't be a problem over time. So that's why 
you now see these fake bullshit narratives of, you know, these tr- these fake allegations. Oh, you are supporting terrorism. Yeah, they just make that up. So this is actually how crypto is going, friends. Don't be shaken out. It is, they're going to do the around, another round of FUD. They're going to try ban the self-custody and people don't know what's going on. But that's what comes next. Well, we don't know if that's the exact next one. So don't go and quote me on that one. It's just that when these things start appearing in the universe, friends, just don't, don't be spooked out. I'm just telling you, hey, I'm trying to like basically rip the Band-Aid off now. To, get, to let everyone know, don't worry, we're talking about this. I told you they were coming. I told you they were coming. And guess what? When I told you they were coming, I told you they're not going to win in that regard either. All right. Now, here's the thing, friends. They're going to win in their own way later on. But for us, we still have a chance to make it. Now, if you are holding all these tokens, though, you won't make it. Lots of token unlocks are coming in May. Most of these coins will do OTC selling to winter poop scum who will dump in the background using exchange customers as exit liquidity all these tokens for so dydx pui uh this coin meme uh, uh book of memes whatever no this is just called meme craptos entangle yeah man this is literally entangling your nuts you won't be able to like blow your load anymore okay this is save more like a uh, soy this is starknet dog shit it's funny they're unlocking their coins Oh, do you know how dirty they are? Oh, my God. Friends, they launched the coin a year or two ago silently, and now they're saying, oh, yeah, we're, we're unlocking our coins after two years. No, 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 not the after the announcement. It's two years from their contract launch date. So that's how scummy they are. That's basically, friends, that, that's an evil planner who was planning to do this BS from day one, okay? Uniswap unlocks Arbitrum. This is inside of VC unlocks, by the way. Look at this. This is 3.5% of the entire market cap. That's actually huge. That's actually enormous, Okay. LimeWire, I mean, like, who's still using this on the internet, friends? There's actual proper porn, porn websites here for you. Okay, Immutable, Funa, Fusion, Merlin, Pyth. This was like fake ch- fake chain link on, on Soylana. Leverage on that. You have Avalanche. Okay, so all these unlocks are coming out. They sell them over time, not to destroy the price, but you get the writings on the wall. That's why we have these VCs and friends. They just keep unlocking in the background. It's very sad. Now, Bitcoin is on its first red monthly candle close for the past eight months. This is normal for a Bitcoin halvening event. We've already gone through this. I'm going to show you again, just to remind you, friends, so no one gets any spookiness. This is it. This is the first red monthly candle in quite a while. And when we're looking at it, we know, all right, it's all right. It's all right. Everything's been a plan. I can go back and show you. The last Bitcoin halvening was here. We had a red candle, and then we started going up. And then before that, in 2016, red candle, there was another red candle, and then we started going up. And then even before that, there was no red candle. We just started going up again. But this was double bubble, bubble before, bubble bubble after, okay? There's also a concern because the days destroyed chart has been off the, off the roof, basically, blown the roof. Um, and that is long-term holders have been dumping Bitcoin. Here is a chart right here. See these red spikes? Every time that red spikes happens, that means very long-term holders have been dumping coins every time at the tops. And look at it on the far right. We have just seen very long-term holders dumping spikes. So look, in the best case before, there's four months left. In the best case, four to six months left. Look, man, I don't know. I don't know. Every time I say this, some people get spooked, friends. Look, I just want to tell you, I've seen so many of these and their data points turn to shit. They don't always work out. There's always there's always something going on. That's why, don't worry about all these data points. We have to look at it like, okay, are the weak hands in everywhere? There are weak hands. We're at racist coins. Soylana was weak hands. But there might be an obvious signal later on where we're just seeing, for example, Coinbase App Store ranking and a lot of other signs of weak hands coming in. Japanese yen, friend. The Japanese yen could be one of these macro things keeps popping up. And I have a chart right here. Of course, friends, we have to have a Pikachu chart with the Japan flag. Shout out to all my Japanese baby dolls out there. The Japanese yen is down 36% in three years. I know many currencies are like that. So um, hopefully they don't have to liquidate their Pokemon Island, please. And I'll be first in line to buy it. Don't you worry, friends. In fact, well, that's what we're here for. Now, the Japanese currency, it's a macro thing. It's always a macro talking point. Why? Because... They artificially keep their rates low. So people, obviously, they borrow in Japan, take the money out, and they go buy US bonds. They're like, okay, well, I'm borrowing for near 0% in Japan. Let me go convert it to America and then just earn the yield. They basically do just like really, really (laughs) safe 
yield farming. It's called the carry trade. Doing it for they've been doing it for a long time. Problem though is the thing can eventually blow up. I mean, this friends, if this thing blows up and your firm loses money on this, there has to be a word stronger than retard for this because friends, this has been going on for like twenty five years. All right, everyone's known about this for 25 years, as in like, oh, it's going to blow up any day now. So if it blows up by now, I mean, you got to have no, absolutely. <laughs> There's no remorse from anyone. You're going to have like 25 years, one of the most oversaturated, overdone, overblown up, uh, overfilled, popular trades of all time for all these people to do. It's kind of funny to see. And a financial crisis, although will eventually come from it because their debt's too big. We've sort of seen this time and time again. It's just like, okay, friends, you've seen this movie. You're like, okay, there's a couple of countries out here. One of you guys is going to screw up, and then you need more money printing. And then it spooks the rest of the world, and the stock market realizes, oh, the rest of the countries have debt too. Then they've got to print more money. It's the same thing over and over again. Hopefully, crypto keeps going up during that time. That's the only thing that matters. Make sure you like, subscribe, betty button, or catch you soon.